Let's take a look at conditional probability. So what that means is, what you'll hear phrased is, what is the probability of B given A? And kind of the thing that comes after that is that A has already occurred. A already occurred. Okay. The notation, so it's right P with parentheses. That's our usual probability notation. So the probability of B, and here's what we do with given. It's just this little vertical bar in the middle. The probability of B given A has occurred. And there is a formula. I will warn you, if you're in my class, I never ever use this formula. I always find there's a much easier way to go about it. But in case you like the formula, here it is. The probability of B given A equals the probability of A and B, right, that overlap idea, divided by the probability of A. Okay. Something that comes up in, in conditional probability is this idea of are the events A and B independent? And they are if the outcome of one does not affect the probability of the other. So if they're independent, it doesn't matter if A or B happened, the same probability occurs for the other one. Uh, one of the key words, um, this comes up a lot with cards or picking candies, it's the with replacement. So if you have the phrase with replacement, that makes it independent. Okay. With replacement, it's not the only clue, but it's a big one. If you ever see with replacement, we're talking about independent events. Okay. And if A and B are independent, then the probability of B given A is just the same as the probability of B, with or without A, okay. because A doesn't influence B. All right, so I have an example with my letters. Here they come. I'll give you a chance to take a look. You can pause if you need to. So let's take a look. And I'm going to show you, I'm not going to use the formula except as a, to show you how it works and why you don't want to do it. Um, we're going to look at the letters I have. So this is asking, what is the probability? So I'm going to draw, mix them all up, pick a letter at random. What's the probability that the letter I pick is blue, is the letter B, given that it's green? What's the probability the letter I chose is B, given that it was green? So somebody looks at my the letter I've drawn and they say, hey, Ange, you've got a green letter. Now what's the probability that it's the letter B? So how I do it, it's not using the formula. Okay, I'm going to show you the formula here in a second. That given part, that creates my denominator in my probability. How many green letters did I have? Four green letters. Right. I know it's green, so I'm just looking at the probability out of those green letters. How many were the letter B? One. Okay. Very easy if you do it this way. Now, let, I'll show you the other one in just a minute. Let's do this one. What's the probability? So I'm going to write my green B went back, mix them all up. We're going to pick another letter out. Now we say, what's the probability the letter I have is green given that it's a consonant? Okay. So consonants, right, consonant, consonant, consonant. All these are consonants except for the U at the end. Okay. So now I know I have a consonant. What's the probability that it's green? So how many consonants do we have up there? You can count along. I'm pretty sure there are seven. And of those seven consonants, how many are green? One, two, three, four. Okay. So the first part makes up the numerator. The given part makes up the denominator. Okay. So probability that it is a vowel given that it's red. What number goes on the denominator? How many is that? Good. And how many of those are vowels? One. I have one vowel. Oh, this one might throw us. 
What's the prob okay, ready? What's the probability it's red given it's a vowel? Now I know I've got a vowel. What's the probability that that's red? So you might be thinking, oh, well, two goes in the top, Angela, because, right, I have two red letters up there. But remember, probabilities have to be between 0 and 1. So if I'm looking at the probability that it's red given it's a vowel, well, this is the only vowel up there, and it happens to be red. So I'm guaranteed a red letter if I know I have a vowel. So let me show you how that formula works. So the probability of B given A, so let's do B given green, equals the probability of B and green divided by the probability of green. Okay? Here. The probability of B given green is equal to the probability of B and green divided by the probability of green. I'm just using that formula. I'll try to scrunch so we can kind of still see the letters. Okay. So the probability of the letter I choose is B and green. So now I have eight letters all together. And I have one that's a, B, a green B. Divided by, well, what's the probability I chose a green letter at all? So again, I have all eight letters to choose from. I'm just talking about the probability of green now. And there are one, two, three, four green letters. Okay. So now if we do some math with our fractions here, I have one eight divided by 4 eighths. So 1 eighth times 8 fourths. Cancel your eighths. 1 fourth the hard way.